Dave, first up, just final game of spring training, the final tune-up. What do you want to see from the guys today? Um, today, we got uh, Bobby Miller going tonight, which is going to be exciting. Uh, one of our top prospects. Uh, play, he'll throw three innings tonight. Um, might touch the fourth, but I think for us, it's it's you know our everyday guys going out there and um, looking to get out of this healthy and, and play good, clean baseball game. For Bobby, this is his first start this spring with you guys. Just what has stood out to you about him on the mound? I think for me, and I haven't seen a whole lot of him, um, just kind of reports and videos. But just when you put eyes on him, he's very physical. Um, He's really strong, athletic, and uh, he's a student of the game. Just watching him in spring training and also here, he's watching every play and talking to veteran players, and uh, I know his adrenaline is going to be going. It's going to be fun for everyone. Do you suspect that this year we can see him making his debut? Um, it wouldn't surprise me. Um, pure talent. Um, I, I see no reason why he won't make his debut at some point, but obviously you got to go out there and play and perform and see where it takes us. When you wrote in this lineup today, did it feel like this could be the opening day lineup? Um, I like the players. <laughs> we, we got good players. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's certainly possible, absolutely. What do you want? <laughs> Sunny day, no cloud in the sky, and I look to my right, I've got Dylan. Oh my god. Yep. Here See, comes man, the clouds. Yeah, here come the clouds. Uh, speaking of which, yeah. Oh yeah, I know. Have you, have you regretted making that guarantee yet? What guarantee? You guaranteed you're going to win the World no, Series. Not, no. Shouldn't, shouldn't that be my take? I mean, it should be your goal. Yo, that's that's. So oh look, hey, look, I, I, yeah. I, I look, I, I, I'm all for this. It's a yeah. great story, man. Here's my thing: is that for me to put it out there and to believe that this is what's going to happen, I think it's very powerful. Um, it raises the bar for myself and everyone that's a part of, of the Dodgers, and I, I think that um, you know, in life, in anything, when you give yourself an out. There's an easy exit, and I think that for me, knowing this team, this organization, I feel for me to put myself out there, put our team out there, and say, I guarantee we're going to hold, we're going to be the last team standing. I don't want to walk it back, and I believe in these guys. But again, the hardest part, that's easy to do. The hardest part to do is now every single day get better and win enough baseball games to put ourselves in that position to accomplish our goal. But uh, yeah, there's no walking things for did Andrew yell at you for that? Uh, if, if he did, I didn't get wind of it, so, uh, yeah. How do you see that team's response to, to that message? I, I think it's our expectation. And, um, you know, it's very clear um, what our goal is, and, and anyone that knows baseball ex expects that from us anyway. So every man in the clubhouse feels the exact same way. Do you, see, do you feel more of a target on your backs, or is it, is it always the same anyway? <laughs> you know what? Um, it's always the same. Um, but I've been thinking about that. Um, we have to kind of change it because, to be quite honest, we're not the National League champions. We're not National League West champions. Uh, we're not defending World Series champions. So uh, for us to think that uh, we're always on it, uh, I would argue that we better flip the narrative and the script and start being hungry, which that's again goes to my thoughts earlier because I feel this is a team that has to prove something. It's yeah, the, the roster's great, but there's a lot of great rosters that don't hold the trophy at the end of the season. Is there an element also of I mean every year you guys come in with that expectation, right? And it's kind of right, every year you guys have to get back to the bottom of the mountain and start that yep. climb again. Is this kind of a way to maybe change it up a little bit in the sense that, you know, I mean, it's been how many years in a row now? I don't know, you know, it feels like every year it's kind of the same thing over and over again in some ways. Well, you know what the thing is, is that it is the same thing over and over in the sense that our goal is to be the best team in Major League Baseball every single year. Um, but the tricky part, the unique thing about our guys is that it's still fresh and guys still have that drive each and every day to be the best team at the end of the year. Um, and I think that's why you see teams that fall off are inconsistent year in and year out. But if you look at our club, we understand it ain't easy um, and it takes a lot of work to kind of 
put ourselves in that position. The fact that you guys kind of periodically add a, you know, a Freddie Freeman or, you know, before it was Mookie Betts, does that kind of help, you think, kind of keep the energy level? Um, it does. Be? I mean, it, energy level, talent, pure talent, absolutely. Um, but there's still a lot of players that are not earning what those guys are earning that really keep us afloat and lead us to where we're at. So I think that the easy, lazy look is there's superstars, but there's other guys that play huge roles uh, for our ball club. How do, you, how do you grade your pitching during the spring? How do you grade the pitching? Is there any concerns with the pitching? Or um, I love the players. Um, individually, certain guys were good, certain guys were not good. But um, I do believe that all of our guys are ready for April 8th. So my grade, Claudia, a C. Do you have a rotation for the opening weekend yet? Um, do I have a rotation uh, for opening weekend? Um, still contemplating. We might. Uh, and then uh, Dustin May, you threw another bullpen today. How's he been doing? Dustin was really good. I saw Dustin today. Uh, I think he threw around 25 pitches. It was uh, just fastball, maybe some change-ups, but it was, it was as good as a pen as I've seen him throw. Um, and I'm not talking about intensity. He was probably right around 90 miles an hour through that pen, but uh, just the repeated throw, it was really impressive. How many pitches that for him? Two? You know what, two or three, but uh, Mark Pryor is probably a better, a, a better answer. To go back to Bobby, why do you feel it's important to get him to start in this kind of environment and, you know, with the major league guy? I just think it's great to have the third deck to pitch at Dodger Stadium for a young prospect um, to kind of check a box with some unknown uh, when the situation happens going forward where knowing how to get to the ballpark, knowing what the locker room looks like, um, you know, how to get here, place to eat. It just kind of makes things a little bit more uh, not so uh, odd or something different, unique. And so, again, the mound, how the mound feels, the pen. Um, but again, this is something where all the guys that we brought, it's a, it's a nice thing the organization does to give these guys an opportunity. And uh, it's good seeing young players out here and watching them be nervous and, and still try to perform, it's great. Did you get all? Did you get accomplished all that you wanted to get accomplished in spring training in the Arizona? Um, I guess the easy answer is yes, uh, but it's a small snapshot. It's a small moment in time. It was three weeks. So to kind of say that we get everything we wanted to accomplish, we did what we could do in in, uh, in three weeks, and everyone had the same schedule, and I feel good where we're at going into opening day. Sorry if you got asked this last night, but Urias's velo was down a Yeah, bit. I, I, I'm not concerned about the velo. I think that, uh, I, I think all, I think Julio will be fine with the velo. It was down. Um, I don't know the reason for it, but I think there'll be a, a couple upticks, you know, in his start. Because I know you guys kind of measure everything throughout camp. There wasn't anything. There was not. There was not. He, he feels strong. It's it's not about last year. It's, he had a good winner. He looks good. He, he feels strong. Um, all signs point towards he'll be fine. Yeah, so you don't need him to start like eating again. Uh, so I'm going to keep him away from dinners with you, Dylan. <laughs> so when you text him to say, "Hey, let's go eat a carne asada burrito," I'm going to tell him to pass. I'm going to tell him he'll, to block your number. He'll be he'll be throwing one Ted. Your thoughts on what Jaime Arena has done uh, for this franchise as he marks on this final season? Jaime Harin is a friend of mine. Um, he is an icon in not only Dodger baseball and this community, um, but in baseball. And you're talking about south of the border. Um, he is a baseball purist. He loves baseball, loves the players. And um, his words, I've never worked a day in my life. And um, that's something that I, I hold in high regard. I try to kind of uh, mirror that sentiment. Um, I'm going to miss Jaime. Um, we're all going to miss Jaime, and I'm just forever grateful that I had a chance to uh, have a chance to call him a friend. And uh, I wish I could have listened to him more. Uh, might have helped my Spanish more. A little bit more 
Ron, Julio, after what you've seen and the expectations of Herschel there after what he did last season as well, and just every year trying to improve, but just overall, what do you see from him and, and how he's working towards that? I, I think the word for Julio is has been growth and um, just a kind of, he's been this unknown prospect. He was a guy that we had to handle uh, with extra care. And then he's got a guy, you know, we have to, then he pitches in, in a big spot, helps us win the World Series, closes out the World Series. And uh, then he goes on to be, the I think, the only 20 game winner in all of baseball last year. Um, so he's his harshest, toughest critic. So clearly coming into camp this year, he looks fantastic. Um, so for me, it's more of just continue to be yourself and get better. And who better to watch than Clayton Kershaw, who he's had the pleasure of watching for the last five years of his career. Just quickly, um, with, the, with the roster and the 16 pitchers, how are you seeing the bullpen shape out? Um, I like our pen. I like our pen a lot. Um, obviously with Craig at the back end, um, I see Huddy, Bruce Dar, um, towards the back. Um, I, we got some length guys, we've got some lefties, some righties, um, obviously Trinan. So I think that we can cover some length. I think we can situationally shorten some guys up uh, to, to win a baseball game. Yeah, I like our pen.